funding plan for the subway is something that we need desperately now. Riders continue to pay for subway delays and missed appointments in time wasted on the train. And of course, low-income New Yorkers are most affected by these delays. We're calling on our elected officials in the Senate and Assembly to come together and pass congestion pricing once and for all. We know that MTA is going to be at, in another deficit and congestion pricing is the largest pot of money that we have been able to identify um, that would fund the fixes that we need in the subway system. You've got this false narrative about what congestion pricing is. People have said it's a tax. People have said it's an assault on drivers. And it's none of that. This is a way of equalizing our transportation system, of redistributing wealth from the roads to the trains and the buses and the means of transportation that black and brown people use every single day. In 275, for a lot of people, especially low-income people, both ways, 550 total, can be the difference between having a meal and not having a meal. There's nothing more important to connecting people with economic opportunity in New York City than a fully functioning, affordable transit system. So the budget is due April 1st, and we've got to do it now. You can see we're here at Broadway Junction. We have the A, C, L, many trains, but there are no elevators. So people who are infirm or elderly, even parents, stations should have an elevator. There are 472 subway stations citywide and only 119 have elevators. That's no good. So a lot of the rhetoric has been that congestion pricing is about Manhattan. It's not about the other boroughs, but it is. It's about Brooklynites, it's about Queens folks because we take the subway too. And Broadway Junction is one of the places that is like a connector for all these trains, all these buses, people coming together from all different parts of the city uh, to get where they need to go. Fix the 